What about you? It's good. Hello, Mrs. Pearson. Hello, John. Please be seated. Hey, John. What brings you here today? Nothing much. My family is at home, so I thought it would be better to have dinner at my friend's place. That's all very good. So, we have another contender for the dinner tonight. So, go in and cook. Let us first finish our talk. Hey, John. You have with me to the club once or twice. They do laugh at me and don't call me Pompey Pompey Pearson. Or do they? Well, yes, I'm afraid, my friend. They do call you Pompey Pompey Pearson. <laughs> well, I will be damned by this thing. Now, you shouldn't have told him that. That's not fair. You have hurt his feelings and mine too. Sometimes it does people good to have their feelings hurt. If a friend would have stopped going to the club so often, perhaps they would have stopped making fun of him. I doubt it. Well, what if I do? I've got to enjoy myself somehow, haven't I? I wouldn't mind it so much, Siren, if you really enjoyed there. But well, that's alright. I'm going up then. I just wonder if everything's all right. Of course, it is. Now, Mrs. Pearson, let me manage my family in my own way. We must change back now. We really must. Why? I can't stand any more of it. I really can't. Hurry up, Mrs. Pearson. Well, if you insist. Yes, I do. Please. Please give me your hands and keep quiet a minute. <laughs> Abracadabra, the soul changes. Abracadabra, the soul of Mrs. Pearson and Mrs. Pearson will be exchanged. Ah, well, I enjoyed it. I didn't. Now, it ought to work. Now listen, Mrs. Pearson, don't go soft and then, unless it'll all be wasted. I'll try not to be, Mrs. Fitz. Don't use any another R and two rough treatments and might be made it certain. But I don't know how I'm going to explain them. Don't you start any explaining or apologizing or you're done for. Mrs. Fitz, it's all right for you. After all, they aren't your husband and children. Now listen, Mrs. Pearson. You admitted yourself that you're spoiling them. And don't don't start any explaining and apologizing unless you'll be back where you were. And just give me them a little tone of voice. And anyhow, we can test it. How? Anything you like them to do that they don't do. And stay at home. Yes, and give me a hand with supper. No, anything that you like to, you like to do that they don't do. Yes, I like hand with supper <laughs> and a game of rummy, but I hardly get one except Christmas. Then you do that in Ottawa. Doris. Yes, mother. Seeing that you don't want to go outside, I thought what we'd do. Remember. No objections, I hope. No, dear. Whatever you say. I thought that your children would prepare the supper. Till then, I'll have a talk with your father. Suits me. What about you too? Yes, that's all right. Well, I. What? Speak of Doris. Well, I think it would be lovely to prepare the supper for all of us. <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Fitz. Come again soon. Bye, Mrs. Pearson. Night, all.